you look like this when you see an LED lamp and are just completely mesmerized, then you're in the right spot because in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple Wi-Fi controlled IKEA Grono LED lamp. You can customize the lamp with any kind of color that you want. And I also ended up programming in about 10 different light show modes with the ability to easily add more. In addition, using a microphone, there's a special mode which we can use to react to sound from your favorite music. I'll get into the specifics on the different modes and how to easily build your own, but for now, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe for more cool projects, now let's get started. If you've ever been to a Goodwill or really any secondhand store, there's a pretty good chance that you've seen an IKEA Grono lamp. If not, well, then you can get them from IKEA for about $13. I found mine at a local Goodwill and wanted to come up with a kind of a cool way to repurpose all these lamps that I kept finding. So first I'll just explain a few of the different light show modes uh, and then I'll get into the boring stuff like how I designed and printed this and how to assemble the electronics and program the microcontroller. So the first mode is just kind of a testing mode that I used, uh, just turns on this red LED. Uh, you, you can kind of omit that if you don't want to, if you don't want to use it. Uh, there's also uh, the turn on NeoPixel mode, so this is kind of selecting the color. You can choose the saturation, the value, the hue, and you can turn on your, your NeoPixels. So I only programmed in about eight modes, and there's a couple hidden modes, but it's really not that difficult to add a new mode through the code. Uh, so you can go ahead and figure that out. There's a ton of tutorials online for that. So one of the specialty functions is called Sparkle Star or whatever, and it basically just turns on random lights in random order. Uh, there's also up down single color so it shoots up in one color shoots down in the same color and then it changes and cycles through different colors uh, there's also one called Cylon so this one it just basically has like a group of LEDs that goes up and down uh, there's also strobe it's for your crazy dance parties so after each of these functions you just have to turn off the NeoPixel and then let's say you wanted to test out this color uh, using the strobe function you just go back, turn that on, and then now you can strobe using that purple color. Uh, there's also the sound reactive mode, but in the default state, uh, just under whatever color selection, it's whatever color you have is going to be how many NeoPixels gets lit up depending on the level of sound. But if you actually go into color selection and you change the color to black, uh, there's a special mode in there which basically uh, turns on different colored LEDs depending on your level. So yeah, I mean, I think it looks a lot better that way. Uh, and it definitely makes for some pretty cool sound reactive uh, lights. You guys can play around with this stuff too. You can change and you know make make it however you want. It's really not that difficult to add or change different things to the code. So these are all the components that you'll need. You'll need 15 neo pixels. You'll need an LED, resistors, uh, 3D printed lid, 3D printed enclosure lid, 3D printed enclosure. You'll need that microphone, and then of course you'll need the IKEA Grono lamp. Uh, and then Structables covers a lot of that stuff. Um, as far as for the like kind of 3D printed stuff, you don't have to design anything. I already designed it. It's already on Thingiverse. I'll put the description in the video, or I'll put the link in the in the description. For the electronics, it's it's really not too difficult. You got some NeoPixels. Uh, you have that test LED, which, like I said, you guys can you cannot use if you don't want. Uh, and then there's that Max 4466 module. So I got, I think I got that on Amazon for like six, seven dollars. Uh, for the power, I just used an old USB uh, adapter, and I just plugged it directly into the ESP eight six six. Comes to the code after you download it. Uh, really, the only things that you'll need to change is go into this Wi-Fi multi uh, and put in your your Wi-Fi SSID and your password. And then after you upload the code to your ESP eight two six six then what's going to happen is it's actually going to print out the IP address that you'll type into your web browser on your phone or whatever kind of internet connected device you have and that's how you'll be able to access the web server. 
And for those of you guys that don't recognize this IDE, uh, it's called Platform IO and it uses the Atom editor. It's honestly awesome and it's like way easier than programming uh, in like the standard Arduino IDE. And I'm not a professional developer, but and I haven't really used HTML or CSS in years, so I'm sure I didn't program it with the best practices. But I learned a lot and it works pretty great, but feel free to make your own updates. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more cool projects.